In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to combine Fibonacci levels and Elliott Wave. In this case, just a very simple example using Northern Star Resources, uh, we're trying to determine uh, the nearest support level. I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director of Fairmont Equities. Any advice is general only, and if you want to know more about us, you can just hit up our website, fairmontequities.com. Okay, moving over to the chart. Uh, this is dated 7th of March 2017. So this is a daily candlestick chart of Northern Star Resources. We can see the peak here in July last year fell to a low in December. It's had a bit of a rally since then, uh, but obviously in the last two weeks, uh, gold and gold stocks have come off a bit on the prospect of uh, US rates rising during March. So we'll grab our Fibonacci tool here. So firstly, just having a look at the, the pullback from July to December. Firstly, we'll note that the stock rallied up to the 38.2% level, found a bit of resistance. If it stopped here and continued falling, that would be quite negative because to only achieve less than half the retracement's not very bullish. But luckily the stock managed to power on and around about this 50% retracement is where it's found some resistance. Now the stock's pulling back once again and what we need to find now is uh, where the nearest support level is. So what I'm going to do is we'll just get rid of this Fibonacci retracement. We'll zoom in to the move that occurred from December up until the, the recent peak there, the end of February. We'll get our little Fibonacci tool again. Now, we'll measure this rally. Now, what you'll notice is on the way down, the share price almost exactly, pretty much exactly closed at the 38.2% retracement. So if we're going to be bullish Northern Star and we want to continue seeing it go higher, any pullback preferably we'd like to see it sit at the 38.2. If it goes to the 50% retracement, well, um, you know, that's still okay. And we could see, look, intraday it's, it's hovering around those, those zones. If it pulls all the way back to the 61.8, not quite as bullish anymore. Um, we don't really want to see a very deep pullback if we want to be bullish this particular stock. So, so far it's come back about 38.2% of the rally that started in December last year. So that's the Fibonacci levels. Now, in terms of Elliott Wave, if it's going to pull back, it needs to pull back in three waves. So, so far we could see this three wave correction known as an ABC. Now, often wave C is equal to the same length as wave A. If not, it will extend about 1.6 times. In this case, visually, we could see it is quite long. So let's measure these, these waves. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. I'll grab the Fibonacci tool. So if that's wave A, what we can do is move it, move it down here. So that's in terms of 1.6 times, that, that would be the length from, from here to here. So this is the top of wave C, and it brings us down to about here. So give or take a few cents intraday, we've pretty much seen a 1.6 times extension of wave A. So in other words, got an almost perfect ABC correction. I'll get rid of this Fibonacci tool. So an almost perfect ABC correction. And as I said, at the moment, it's sitting at about 38.2% retracement of this rally. So, so far we have a few, I guess, uh, a few points measuring up here that, that suggest that this should be a good support level for Northern Star Resources. And therefore it could potentially be a buy. Do we buy it here? Look, it really depends on your uh, uh, your level of risk. I mean, we're taking on a level of risk here in buying something that is at a support zone. We've established that, but we just don't know if it is going to hold. We need confirmation. So if you're buying it here, you're buying it a bit early, potentially, 
Um, if you want to play safe, we need to see it um, regardless of what it does in the next couple of days. It needs to hold this, this region and then rally up. Now, ideally, you'd want to see it overlap this low point. Why is that? Because at the moment we have an ABC correction. However, if it doesn't overlap this point here and just meanders, if it fails to overlap, then we could actually be in the middle of a fourth wave, which implies one, two, three, four, five, and another wave down here. So five waves bringing it all the way back down to the mid threes is not a great sign at all. So um, that's why you don't necessarily want to be buying it uh, in the next couple of days. We need to wait for confirmation of support. If you can rally through here, take out this low, it starts to look a bit more interesting. So that was it in terms of finding a support level for, for Northern Star. It looks like it's at a, a decent level. We just need to see what it does in the next few days. If it can't rally, uh, unfortunately, there's not a trade there, but hopefully you're able to see how we can combine uh, Fibonacci's and a bit of Elliott Wave to try to determine a good support level.